This video is brought to you by NCIX.com. Great technology, selection and service. The Silverstone RVZ02 is the latest Raven release that pushes the boundaries even further when it comes to functional chamber separation at this unusual but totally awesome ITX slim tower form factor. Priced at $6-9 for the solid panel version and a $10 premium for the plastic window, I think this price point is right where it should be, offering great value given the unique aesthetics and uh, internal form. And let's take the time to appreciate the angles of the plastic front panel that follows in the footsteps of the Raven exterior as we've come to know it. There's even an ambient orange power LED that in my opinion looks fantastic. It may not be your favorite color, it may not totally suit your color scheme, so in that situation if Silverstone would have gone ahead with a white LED uh, that would have been the safer choice. The sliding Raven door pulls down which is really stiff and smoother sliding rails would be better. Behind the door we have dual USB 3 ports and audio jacks and it's a great location plus the orange underglow would help to light up this front IO when in the dark. The power button is in the bottom left corner with a tiny hole for the reset switch that is activated via a needle and as with previous Raven ITX cases, orientation is determined by you, either standing which I think would be the more popular choice with the rubberized case feet included that is a two piece design so you can collapse it when not in use and we also have these large adhesive rubber dimples that would allow horizontal orientation that looks alright and does not affect cooling that much. At the back, aside from the motherboard I.O. and ventilation, there are two PCI slots right above the motherboard with a power plug for internal rerouting. Taking off the side panels, they are identical, that eliminates the confusion which panel to install on what side first, plus notice the dust filter protrusion on each panel. I actually don't mind this at all as it adds a little bit of character to an otherwise plain sides. The plastic filter has very large ventilation cutouts plus really fine mesh that helps to prevent dust without impacting uh, too much airflow. These filters are easily removable from the outside, one for the GPU chamber and the other one for the motherboard area. My only point of concern are these venting strips at the bottom and top of the case that are not filtered and I really don't understand why. Plus the transparent side panel version does not even have a dust filter. I realize it won't look as good with the dark mesh, but come on. Taking a look inside the main chamber, this is where the ITX motherboard, power supply and your drives will be installed. For the power supply, the RVZ02 supports an SFX and Silverstone's new SFX-L standard and we're using their 500 watt SFX-L power supply which is the same mounting size as SFX and here they are in comparison to standard ATX. And you can see the SFX-L in the middle that is slightly longer than standard SFX but still a lot smaller than regular ATX units. The extra length allows the power supply to be equipped with the 120mm fan for better cooling and quieter operation versus the tiny louder fan on the SFX power supply. Now I wasn't expecting anything too challenging with the interior cable work, there's plenty of room in front and on the side of the power supply to tuck away the cables and there's also a hefty amount of room below the power supply that you could potentially utilize for routing as cutouts are available but in our build this space was not utilized. One thing I do appreciate are all black front I.O. cables that come sleeved for that extra camouflage, but the most annoying thing to route was the USB 3 cable. Not only is it super thick, but it's not exactly flexible and this whole tiny interior doesn't help that either. Next you'd want to install the PCI extension, which is held in with a couple of screws from the GPU chamber, install the riser card into the GPU and pop that graphics card in place. 
I love this chamber separation as there is no heat exchange between hardware and due to this clearance 13 inch or 33 centimeters is available for your graphics card, although the card cannot be larger than two PCI slots. Silverstone does include this GPU support brace that will prevent the card from bending when in horizontal position with multiple mounting locations available for different height and length GPUs. Now, for drive capacity, the RVZ02 supports a slim optical drive that for this form factor is very fitting. Furthermore, two SSD brackets are available above the motherboard with really convenient mounting angle brackets that are toolless with a picture showing orientation of the SATA cables, but don't be confused to mount the drives facing up as that won't allow clearance for cables. Insert the drives facing down. To mount a three and a half inch drive, we have to go back to the GPU chamber as that that is the only spot that has clearance with appropriate cutout for a comfortable SATA routing, so that's appreciated. Although this drive does limit GPU clearance to just over 7.5 inches or 19 centimeters, which is an unfortunate compromise. You can mount an extra SSD in this place as well, and if using 7mm drives, it can comfortably sit behind the GPU. I just wish that we had the ability to mount a 3.5 inch drive instead of the optical drive on the other side. So I think Silverstone has done another fantastic job with the Raven line, particularly with this new introduction of this ITX slim form factor. The layout isn't challenging to build at all and both compartments are well ventilated and the hardware is easy to access and replace if needed. While I'm not satisfied with the 3.5 inch drive mounting location, perhaps it's a good idea to go uh, with full solid state as the chamber is passively cooled. Also, if they could improve on the sliding door for the front I.O. to present better general build quality. And how come there is no handle at the top? This is the perfect briefcase size case. Would love to take it on the road with me. But other than that, the Silverstone RVZ02 deserves the Harbor Canucks damn good award for being a unique slim tower with a lot of character. I'm Dimitri with Hardware Canucks. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow for more similar content. 